Ever wondered how our seven continents came to be? What if I told you they all used to be one giant landmass called Pangaea? Picture this, hundreds of millions of years ago, the Earth looked vastly different. There was just one colossal landmass, Pangaea, a word derived from the Greek language meaning all Earth. Pangaea played a crucial role in Earth's history, shaping the geography we know today. Intriguing, right? Now let's dive into the history of Pangaea, shall we? Around 300 million years ago a spectacular event took place. An event that would forever change the face of our planet quite literally. This was the birth of Pangaea, a gargantuan supercontinent that once encompassed all of Earth's landmass. But how did this colossal formation come to be? To understand Pangaea's birth we first need to delve into the fascinating world of geological processes, specifically continental drift and plate tectonics. These are the forces that shape and reshape the Earth's crust over millions of years, like cosmic sculptors etching away at a planetary canvas. Continental drift is the slow and steady movement of the Earth's continents over the surface of the globe. It's like watching a snail race in extreme slow motion. German meteorologist Alfred Wegener first proposed this theory in the early 20th century, suggesting that the continents were not static, but rather in constant albeit slow motion. Now let's talk about plate tectonics. This theory, a significant advancement of Wegener's concept, posits that the Earth's crust is divided into large pieces, or plates, that slide around atop the semi-fluid layer of the Earth's mantle. These tectonic plates, like mammoth jigsaw pieces can collide, pull apart or grind against each other, causing earthquakes, volcanic activity, and you guessed it, the formation of continents and oceans. So, how does this all tie into Pangaea? Well, around 300 million years ago the Earth's plates began a slow-motion collision course. Over tens of millions of years, these plates gradually converged, their collisions forming towering mountain ranges and bringing together disparate land masses. This colossal unification resulted in the birth of Pangaea, a supercontinent that stretched from pole to pole and gathered almost all of Earth's landmass into one immense entity. The birth of Pangaea was a pivotal moment in Earth's history, a testament to the power and artistry of geological forces. This supercontinent's creation set the stage for a unique era of evolutionary and geological events, forever shaping the world as we know it. So, Pangaea was born, but how did it evolve over time? Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the life and times of this extraordinary supercontinent. Pangaea wasn't just a static piece of land, it was a living, breathing entity that was constantly changing. Imagine a supercontinent stretching almost 200 million square kilometers, an expanse of land that dwarfed every landmass we know today. That was Pangaea. Its geography was as varied as it was vast, with towering mountains, expansive plains, and deep, mysterious oceans. Pangaea's climate varied greatly from its core to its outskirts. The interior of the supercontinent was dry and arid, with temperatures that could soar high and dip low. The coastal regions, on the other hand, enjoyed a more temperate climate, with abundant rainfall and moderate temperatures. And in this diverse environment, life thrived. The reign of Pangaea was a time of significant evolution, the variety of climates and habitats led to an explosion of new species. This was the era of the dinosaurs, those majestic creatures that have captured our imaginations ever since their fossilized remains were first discovered. They weren't alone though, Pangaea was also home to the first mammals, a group that would eventually give rise to humans. Life in the oceans was equally diverse. The Panthalassic Ocean that surrounded Pangaea was teeming with life. It was home to a wide variety of marine species, from the smallest plankton to the largest marine reptiles, but it wasn't all smooth sailing. Pangaea's vast size also posed challenges. Its climate extremes made survival difficult in certain regions. And the sheer size of Pangaea meant that species were often isolated from each other, leading to unique evolutionary paths. The reign of Pangaea was a time of immense change, of evolution and adaptation. It was a time when life on Earth was diversifying at an unprecedented rate, and the stage was set for the rise of the mammals and eventually humans. But like all good things, Pangaea's reign had to come to an end. The forces that brought Pangaea together would eventually tear it apart. But that's a story for another time. For now let's marvel at the wonder that was Pangaea, a supercontinent that shaped life on Earth in ways we're still discovering today. About 200 million years ago Pangaea began to break apart. Picture this. A supercontinent, home to a myriad of unique life forms, suddenly starting to crack, to separate, to drift apart. This was the beginning of the end for Pangaea. But how did it happen? Why did it happen? 
Let's delve into it. The process behind this massive geographical shuffle is known as continental drift, a theory proposed by Alfred Wegener in the early 20th century. Continental drift suggests that the Earth's crust or lithosphere is not one solid piece but is rather divided into several large plates. These plates, floating on the semi-fluid layer of the Earth's mantle, are in constant motion, albeit at a glacial pace. Imagine these plates as colossal rafts carrying continents drifting on a vast, molten sea. Over hundreds of millions of years these plates move, collide, separate and even slide past each other. When Pangaea began to break up, it was due to the movement of these tectonic plates. But how did this breakup result in the world we know today? Well as Pangaea split, it formed two major landmasses. Laurasia to the north, and Gondwana to the south. Over time, these two further fragmented into the seven continents we recognize today. North America, Europe and Asia stemmed from Laurasia, while Gondwana gave birth to Africa, South America, Australia, and Antarctica. This process didn't just shape our world geographically, it also influenced the evolution and distribution of life on Earth. As continents moved apart, species were isolated, leading to unique evolutionary paths. The marsupials of Australia, the flightless birds of New Zealand, the diverse wildlife of the Amazon, all are testaments to the effects of continental drift. The breakup of Pangaea was a monumental event in Earth's history, but what does it mean for us today? It's a humbling reminder of our planet's dynamic nature, a testament to the ever-changing tapestry of life and geography. It's a lesson that nothing, not even a supercontinent, is permanent. Pangaea may be long gone, but its legacy lives on. Let's dive into how this supercontinent's breakup has shaped our world today. The shattering of Pangaea didn't just create the continents as we know them, it also laid the groundwork for the variety of climates we experience. As the land masses drifted, new oceans formed, changing the flow of ocean currents and wind patterns. This shift had a profound impact on the Earth's climate, giving birth to the diverse climates we see today, from the icy tundra of Antarctica to the scorching Sahara Desert. The breakup of Pangaea also played a crucial role in the evolution of life and the distribution of species across the globe. As continents drifted apart, organisms were isolated from each other, leading to the evolution of distinct species in different parts of the world. The kangaroos of Australia, the elephants of Africa, the penguins of Antarctica, the diversity of life we see today is, in part, a legacy of Pangaea. Scientists study Pangaea not just to understand the Earth's past, but also to predict its future. By examining the movement of continents over millions of years, they can forecast how these landmasses might shift in the future. These predictions can provide insights into potential changes in climate, sea levels, and biodiversity. The study of Pangaea also provides clues about the Earth's interior. The movement of the continents is driven by the churning of molten rock deep within the Earth. By studying Pangaea's formation and breakup, scientists can gain insights into these deep-seated geological processes. Pangaea's legacy doesn't end there. The supercontinent's breakup also influenced the course of human history. The formation of separate continents set the stage for the development of distinct human cultures and civilizations. The physical barriers created by the breakup of Pangaea have shaped the patterns of human migration, trade, and conflict. While Pangaea may be a thing of the past, its influence can still be seen and felt today. It's an enduring testament to the dynamic nature of our planet, a reminder that the Earth beneath our feet is constantly changing, shaping our world in ways we might not even realize.